Hi everyone, Pete the Wargamer here, back with another Flames of War painting tutorial. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to tackle a World War III US AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. And I'll be using the Vallejo range of paints to do so. Before we start painting, we first of all need to apply a primer. And this is so that the later layers of paint adhere to the miniature surface. For the step, I've chosen to use an aerosol black primer as this will allow me to quickly apply the primer and also to create the appearance of shadows around the various panel lines, which will become apparent when we start to dry brush later on. You will also notice that I've kept the rotor blade separate here. This is an optional step, but will allow me to more easily paint the main fuselage of the helicopter without the blades getting in the way. With everything primed, we next need to apply the base color for the Apache. And for this, we'll be using some olive brown and we're applying it with a dry brushing technique. Dry brushing requires taking a large and preferably rounded brush like this one here, dipping it into your paint, and then wiping the brush onto a piece of paper or paper towel in order to remove some of the excess paint and help to work it through the bristles. With the brush prepped, we can start to apply some quick strokes to the surface of the model. By only applying a light amount of pressure here, you should find that the paint starts to accumulate onto the large flat surfaces but not into the recessed areas. Because of the primer we used, these areas remain black and so appear as shadows, which help to bring out the level of detail without the need for washes. After the base coat, we next want to pick out the raised edges of the helicopter, as well as lightening the color slightly by using some Russian uniform and some more dry brushing. With your brush ready, lightly drag it across the whole miniature. The paint will start to accumulate onto the harder edges and the upper parts of the model. The lighter Russian uniform will simulate the appearance of light falling onto the Apache and will help to improve its realism as well as its level of detail. Following on from our application of the dry brushing, there will be some areas that need to be cleaned up a little bit with some black paint. However, applying this paint straight from the bottle can be a little too thick and won't give us a smooth finish. This can be remedied by mixing them with a little water. Roughly an even amount of water and paint is usually enough to create a thin enough mixture. Once mixed, apply this paint across the entirety of the rotors, rockets, tires, and cockpit glass. To give the wheels and propellers a very slight highlight, we can dry brush on some of the very dark gray of black gray. Focusing this over the blade edges will help to add some definition to these otherwise flat areas. Next up, we want to create a glass effect on the cockpit windows and the various optics dotted about the helicopter. To do this, I started off by thinning out some field blue to create a heavily diluted mixture. Roughly three parts water or thinner to one part paint should do here. Using this paint, we want to apply several layers, with each layer covering a smaller area than before. Begin by painting a rough L shape onto the surface with your first layer, taking up most of the space. Once dried, apply a second layer, reducing the area down and then repeating this until you can only apply a thin L shape along the edge of the pane. The result should be a transition from the pure black in the top right corner to a pure field blue in the bottom left. To finish off the glass effect, apply a small thin L shape of pure white into the bottom left corners of your glass panes, which will act as a small point of reflected light. Now that all of those base coats are completed, we can start to apply a wash. Washes are great for quickly boosting the visibility of details. They will flow into the recessed areas and darken them slightly as they dry to create the appearance of shadows. The first wash we'll be applying in this way is sepia wash, but much like the base coats applied straight from the pot, it is probably too strong. So we first need to water it down a little. Mix water into your wash until you have a consistency similar to what you see here. With your wash thinned, we next want to carefully apply it directly into some of the recesses and gaps between the panels. Once dried, you'll find that those small details will stand out much more than they did before, and the surface will have a slightly dirty appearance too. And here we have the completed Apache. Now, whilst I focus on just one specific vehicle in this video, you could easily apply the same colors and techniques to other US helicopters that use the same olive color scheme. You can find a full list of all the paints used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment that I've used to create this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. And make sure to join my Discord, which you can find a link to it 
below. And so the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching and goodbye.